Lithuania's Bandom Ishet Now Yo is over and the Roop, surprise surprise, have won. Should we talk about it? <laughs> Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Guys, honestly, no surprise here. In the poll on Weebie Blogs, 75% of voters wanted the Roop to win. They've been riding a wave of hype. They've talked Spotify in Lithuania. They're number one in the betting odds with the bookies. This was a coronation rather than a competition. Robin, is the song aging well to you? Do you still love it after tonight's performance? Um, that's a good question, actually, because I sort of think I've, I've I've hit a wall with it. Like it's good, but it's not going to get any better. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they'll they'll bring out something even more for their Eurovision performance. But I sort of think I've seen the song, heard the song, I've seen the performance, and I like I can't quite see it winning Eurovision. Like I think it'll do well for Lithuania Eurovision, but it is kind of limited. Like it is a bit quirky, and that won't appeal to everyone. Um, and I think the chorus is also a little bit just that whole staccato. Yeah, that's a no. Um, that's not as strong as a I think a Eurovision chorus should be, but it's still a really good song, and it's going to be one of those memorable ones. Um, it might turn out to be a TikTok, go viral on TikTok or something. But um, yeah, like not a surprising winner, but um, a bad song. It's just it. it it is what it is. Porig in Ireland. I think, oh, well, I'm wearing yellow in honor of their their outfits on stage. Yes, yeah, like nobody was in any doubt that the Roop were going to take victory, that it, there would have been like a huge outcry. Like it would have, Margaret's failure to represent Poland in 2016 would have paled in comparison to this. And even the production values of the songs, you can see that there was a lot more budget and creative effort put into the Roop's entry compared with the other songs. Um, and there was a couple of nice ones, but they were very low key. And when you look at it, like they were breaking all sorts of records in, in Lithuania. Uh, they were the fastest song to pass a million views from Lithuania. They were the broke Spotify records in Lithuania. They've broken their own televote record. Last year, they got about 50,000 votes. They've added another 15,000 votes on top of that. So they got 74,512 votes. That I can see it here on the screen. And the next act, Jabrasi, is a long, long way behind with only not even six and a half thousand votes. So I think there would have been like a revolution in Lithuania had the jury screwed this over. It's compared to On Fire, I think it's more accessible, it's more instant. I warmed to it straight away, whereas On Fire took me a while, but I'm not sure whether that's because I've become acclimatized to the Roop and their idiosyncrasy, idiosyncrasies because I'm familiar and I'm, I like their character, I like their personalities. But I think there is something special to it. And I think especially in a year where people want to be cheered up because they're sick of 2020, they're sick of what's 21, 2021 has been so far. And it's also the kind of thing that people imagine your vision to be. It's fun, it's out there, it's wacky, but at the same time, it is credible. So while it might not top the polls with the juries, I don't think they can punish it too much either. Yeah, I've got to say, I quite like this still. E even just as a studio cut, not looking at it, it gets under your skin, that um, production of the it's this weird, I don't know, like the tribal uh, disco man in me. There's something about it that I can't get out of my head. I think we need to put the performance in context. They're on a stage in Lithuania, right? And we've just watched Melody Festival in Sweden. And so I think it can cloud like one's judgment. Because when I watched the performance back, I was like, oh, that doesn't look like the Swedish stage. But of course <laughs> not, because it's in Vilnius. But when they go to Rotterdam, they're going to have access to that epic stage. And I think they can really use the technology there to make it come to life. 
Um, yeah, it's aging well for me, I've got to say. Even compared to the other songs we've heard from Ukraine, Israel, Albania, France, th this still sounds unique. I know Ukraine is like a really up-tempo wow dance song as well, but they, they feel different. They don't feel remotely the same. Um, so I think this still fills its niche. It's still quirky, but still kind of highbrow. Yeah, we just have to see what they do in Rotterdam, obviously. I think maybe I don't love the outfits. I think, for, but for Rotterdam, I think they will have new outfits anyways. I think I, I'm over the shape of Vidotis' outfit. I don't, there's something about that, that it's avant-garde, which is his style, but I just don't like the shape. And this is a very particular detail, and this obviously matters to no one else, but um, I'm hoping they'll elevate their sartorial stakes as we move toward Rotterdam. Robin. Yeah, I, I would agree with you on the costumes. Um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the um, the female dancer with her sort of schoolgirl sailor costume. I like, I think they're wanting big costumes that they can get cool silhouettes. But um, yeah, there is there is probably some work to be done. Um, if, I, if I look at the other acts in the, like the top three, um, like Dubrassi who came second, that was, like, uh, some fans were going, is he actually a contender for the win? Could there be an upset? But as we saw, he didn't even come close. But it, it was a really good song, and it, he did a really good performance. And I would, like, he's competed before, um, but I, I think we'll see him coming back in the future. Um, Voldemar Peterson, who also came th third, he's another one. It was, like, a good song, well, well performed. Um, so I think... Like his was more of a favorite with the jury than the telly vote, but um, yeah, it was a good it was a good grand final selection. It definitely didn't feel like it was just um, the root and five others. There was more of a sense of this, you know, a good selection. They'd gone through the semi finals, and yeah, it was a it was a good show overall. I I don't have much more to add. Um, did. Yeah, that that just the group are probably going to get Lithuania its best result for some time. I'd say they could challenge Donny Montel for having the highest score. And I would be shocked if they don't make it out of the final. I think they'll have enough buzz, especially in the semifinals where there's kind of a more niche audience watching. So I think they they've already won over the hardcore Eurovision fans. They'll win over the kind of people who like Eurovision as an excuse to have a party and they'll definitely attract a lot of media attention because they're the kind of act that they stand out and Vidotas also says kind of quite profound and random and quirky things so it's the kind of thing that media will love at the press conference to ask him and he'll have some outlandish um, answer for them so I think that will be enough to take them that they have the PR they have the record label backing um, so I think they're definitely in the final and then it's a question of how high they can go and right now obviously that's very hard to say because they're only the fifth song declared of the season and it's another thing that we'll need to know what the mood of Europe is like in May because it could be a thing that right the vaccinations are going well everybody's happy the end is nigh or it could be a case that everything is still the same and people are getting fed up and miserable and the last thing they want is a couple of Lithuanians going on about the disco. So it, it's um, going to be interesting to see how it turns out. I think this is a very good, safe, out there song. It, it, what I'm trying to say is the bookies have put this first. Ukraine is nowhere near first. And I think that's because Ukraine song is very out there, high risk. Could go either way, but it's more high risk. Whereas this is like out there and different and weird, and yet it's still mainstream and now and current so it, it managed just to, to straddle two very different things better than any other song thus far you know france which i adore and love it's very you know classic and so it, 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 it you can quickly identify it and place it whereas this is like the weirdness could work to its advantage because it, it's all over the place um in any case that's what we think what do you think did the correct act to win in Lithuania and do you think like us that this is going straight to the final and that it could climb rather high? Let us know here on Weebly Blogs. Tell us what you think in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell. And we will see you later. Bye! Bye. Bye.